want you to listen to this man speak. I do know it's truth. It's whole truth. It's much needed truth. Roll it. Hey, how you doing tonight? The only disclaimer I'm going to make for this little presentation conversation is that, well, I'll put it like this. Like Chris Rock says, you got black folks and you got niggers. Now, you niggers know who you are, okay? Don't, don't try front. You know who you are. I'm only talking to the niggers. I'm not talking to the black folks. I start by saying, if the Antichrist pulled up in a Chrysler 300 wearing jeans and gold tee and blasting Jay-Z out the window, all you niggers would go to hell. You all go to hell because you're all so stupid that anybody who jumps up and says, I'm a black leader, you follow them without thinking. And I don't know if it's because you're too stupid to think for yourselves or too afraid to think for yourselves or you're still looking for excuses for why you can't do a damn thing. What really was the straw that broke the camel's back? All you Negroes went down to Arizona to protest about the Mexicans with Al Sharpton, who was another idiotic leader. And let me tell you one of the many reasons you are so stupid. Right now, the Congressional Black Caucus has been fighting with Obama for over an entire year because blacks have been losing their jobs at twice the rate that whites have been losing their jobs. And right now, one out of four, one out of four blacks are unemployed. So what we're going to do is all gather up and get together and try and bring 13 million more people into the country to compete with us for jobs. Jobs that we don't even have yet. That's a great idea. Hey, let me ask you something. Anybody seen that Haiti thing on TV? You see how many black people over there homeless, no food, no clothes, no water? Has anybody marched for them? How about all the millions and millions in Africa who are getting killed? Millions getting killed every year who deserve political asylum. Has Al Sharp been out marching for them? No, of course not. We're going to march for the Mexicans. Let me ask you what. If your black got deported tomorrow, do you, how, many, how many Mexicans you think would be out there marching to say, bring back the dumb niggers? Huh? I say all together, none. Another thing. Most of the black people in the U.S. today who are poor deserve to be poor and should be poor. Because most of you out there who are broke, you were somewhere getting high, or robbing a liquor store when everybody else was out going to high school or joining the military or trying to get an education of some sort to make themselves marketable. So I, I got no pity with that. Moving on, right now, do you guys remember that 80% of the children born into the black community next year will be born ghetto bastards? Yes, ghetto bastards. Criminalistic, whorish ghetto bastards. Right now, I'll put it like this. It's safer for me to walk through a KKK rally wearing a rope necklace than it is for me to walk to the convenience store after dark. Right, that's because of you 80% of you ghetto bastards who are out there running the street. Let me move on. I've had black people tell me really, really stupid things. Too many to, to, to memorize, but I just jotted down a few of them. Like uh, the one that whites broke up the black families with welfare. No, nigga, you lazy men broke up the families. If you take got up and got a job, she wouldn't have been, been able to get on welfare. But you don't want to work and you want to make babies and you leave the house so she can get on welfare, then you come up and lay it around and making more babies and you don't have to work. That's the problem. Oh, oh the other one. Oh, I can't find a job because the white man keeping me down. Well, no nigga, you can't find a job because you quit school to become a rapper. And there's <laughs> only about a half a million rappers. How much talent does rap? You don't even have to be able to sing to be a rapper. <laughs> and most of you ain't never going to be rappers because you can't read because you dropped out of school. You can't even spell G-E-D. <laughs> and just a word to you get us, ghetto fabulous whores. You need to keep your legs closed. You need to once in a while close your legs. I don't know how you get dressed with your legs wide open, but then again, you don't have to get dressed very often if you're on welfare and you got nowhere to go. You can keep your legs open. Most of you women, out, you little ghetto whores, have had so much sex you don't even need, need to have sex anymore for the rest of your life to make babies. Just keep your legs open. Every nine months, another one crawls on out. Close your legs. Try and cut off the oxygen supply. Okay, maybe you can kill a few of them up in there. And, and, and now, we don't have to worry about prostitution becoming legal in America. You know why prostitution won't become legal in America? Because you little sluts giving it away for a two-piece dinner at the drive through <laughs> Nobody got to pay for it. Anyway. And then you little boys who are so proud to be called pimp. Proud to be called pimp. Well, first of all, you couldn't even be a pimp. A pimp takes responsibility. A pimp is almost like having a job. <laughs> and if you have a job, you're expected to have money. And you don't have either. 
And, and that's why you got 10 baby mamas and haven't bought a diaper or a gallon of milk in years. And again, you little ghetto sluts, stop sleeping with boys with 10 baby mamas. Cut it down to maybe I'll only have sex with boys who have three baby mamas. How's that? How's that for a <laughs> Okay. I ain't done. <laughs> then we blame white people. I hear this. You ignorant bastards are blaming white people because we got so many black people in jail. Well, you know what? You black people in jail, they didn't pick you up because they saw your picture in a Boy Scout group photo or, 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 or a graduating class picture. They picked you because they saw you in a video robbing a damn liquor store for $32 in a cart in Newport. And, and now... You people are so damn lazy. Lazy thieves. You're so lazy, you won't even wait for people to leave the house or go to sleep before you rob them. Now you do the home invasion because you're lazy. And then you wonder why you got caught. You know why you got caught in the home invasion? Because the people were sitting right there in the damn living room watching you take the flat screen when you left. And you don't go out of the neighborhood to rob people. You rob people across the street. This dude sitting here saying, damn, I'm going to call his mama as soon as he leaves. That was little Billy John, wasn't it? Yeah, that was Billy John. Yeah, I'm going to call his mama tell him to bring my flat screen back. I'm glad there's jails. You're all in jail because you should be in jail. And I, I, I am so happy that there's jails. Hey, how's this for a crazy idea? This is just a nutty thing off the top of my head. How about you stop committing so many crimes? Huh? How's that for a way to stay out of jail? Kind of crazy, but it just might work. Another thing. And I'm getting to the end. Every time there's a war, all you... Follow these other and start protesting. Oh, the war, the war, there's so many black kids in the military and they're all going to die. Do you know why there's so many black kids in the military? Let, let, let me, because we got so many shiftless, ignorant, lazy, irresponsible parents that these kids will do anything to escape the lives that you gave them, including going to war the rest of your lives. So when you start blaming people for having so many black kids in the military, take a look at yourself and see what a worthless, horrible parent you were that chased your kid in the middle of a war. Golly, that's sick people. Oh yeah, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. For now. For now. The other thing, you're all moral cowards. You are so afraid, so afraid to stand up for your values and your ethics. All the Democrats have to do is say, the Republicans are racist. And now you dummies, you don't know what the Republicans stand for. You don't know what the Democrats stand for. You're just voting on the simple fact that somebody told him was a racist. You're too ignorant to follow the issues. And like we all know, where's the best place to hide something from a black man? Put it in a book. He'll never find it. And that's why you don't know anything. Now, here's something I got to say. You don't have to worry about anybody bringing slavery back, okay? Don't worry about the races. Don't worry about them bringing slavery back. Because unless there's a plantation that needs people to sit around and smoke blunts and uh, play Nintendo all day, I don't see anybody hiring you for anything. I don't think there's anybody dumb enough to buy one of your that think he's going to get a dollar's worth of work out of you. So don't, don't ever worry about becoming a slave again. Well, look, I'm going to go for right now. But I still believe we need a new race because black people have just become too damn ignorant, too lazy, and too cowardly for me to claim as one of my own. I don't say we have to change our color because I look damn good in this dark skin. Don't. Come on, admit, admit I'm kind of fine, ain't it? I'm kind of sexy. I know. I know. I'm, I'm not bragging. This is true. But I'm saying we need a nigger free race. <laughs> I'm tired of all these lazy, shiftless, cowardly criminals running around per, 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 perpetrating being black people. Okay? Am I the only one that feels this way? They're bringing us down. Again, we need a new race. Y'all have a good night. Well, I mean, seldom am I, am I speechless. But I got to tell you, I'm pretty close. After listening to that, it is such truth, unmitigated truth about how the black man thinks, the black community, the white people think. It's, it's, it's just, it is absolutely the worst possible. A new race is not is not something that we should not be calling for because when you consider the fact i mean just think about the fact that the the stealing that goes on the robbing of black on black crime this whole matter of uh blaming white folk for everything i mean listen white folk are not totally guiltless of of of, of things but not to the level of where black people it's it's just ridiculous 
and, and this whole matter of every child born in the black community is a ghetto bastard. That don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. And the black girls keep their legs open all day and all night. And one black man, one black 17 year old got 10 babies by 10 different black black girls and everybody in the church thinks it's okay. Everybody, you know, and then you get all kind of white folk running into the community, you know, trying to buy pampers and milk. It is ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous. Democrats and liberals are the biggest races you ever want to see. And the big, the item bigger than slavery in terms of racism and Dred Scott was the affirmative action, which says it effectively that black people can't do so you got to lower the bar for them. That just sent black people to, to the farm because they said, well, you know, we can't do as well. So we expect every time you see me show up, don't expect me to show up like a like a natural man. Expect me to come in like a clown, lower the bar, lower the social expectation, lower the grades, because I can't do it. Which is there's nothing been on, there's nothing on this planet, there's nothing in the history of this nation that is as racist as affirmative fact. This truth, this unmitigated truth, gets rejected by black folk resoundly. And nobody will receive it, and they're going to continue to go on acting like niggas. It's exactly what they are. I'm James David Manning. I'm going to keep the good fight going.